from Rain Country Homestead, God is good all the time. Today I want to show you how I make my own organic chocolate sauce that's mostly healthy. So let's get started. I have all my ingredients laid out here for the, for the um, chocolate sauce or syrup depending on how you make it. I try to make this more of a sauce, not quite so runny. Um, today I'm going to be using my own homemade almond milk. Normally I use organic whole milk, um, cow's milk, or raw goat's milk. Um, but today I wanted to try something different since I have this made up and it had been a while since I made nut milk. And if you have not seen how to make your own nut milk video, go watch that because this is super easy and inexpensive and much better for you than store-bought. And because store-bought, read the ingredients. I said it in the other video, you need to read the ingredients. They add a lot of garbage to that like carrageenan and some other things that are really not good for you and should and are not meant for human consumption, period. Um, so you can make your own with just two ingredients, nuts and water, a good, good healthy water. So that's what I'm going to use today. So we'll see how it turns out. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to do different that I haven't tried yet is using honey instead of sugar. But since I'm using the almond milk, I try not to do two different things in the same batch because I do this for my husband. I, I never use eat this stuff at all. It's, it's for him. And he likes to have his chocolate milk and whatever. So I try to, I try to start do one little change at a time to get it a little more healthy every time and and experiment with it and see how is how he reacts so i have tried using all coconut sugar and he didn't care for the taste of it as much he ate it and he was okay with it but he didn't like it as much as when i used the evaporated cane sugar juice organic of course but i found a ratio that seemed to work pretty good and that is the organic cane sugar and the organic coconut sugar half and half mixture so I'll be showing you that. There's my, there's my coconut sugar. There's my cane sugar. I always keep these in these cute little colored jars there on my counter. And then you'll need a little bit of salt. This is the Himalayan pink, pink salt. Redmond Real Salt is, a, is an excellent option. And then you'll need your organic cacao powder. So this is, this is all organic for the most part, aside from the vanilla. You'll need vanilla. This is homemade vanilla extract and the vanilla beans are organic, but the vodka is not. It is very hard and very expensive to find organic vodka. But I'm really excited because I found, I discovered a new way I can make this of avoiding having to use alcohol, period. And something that's, I think is gonna make it taste better and that is getting the non-GMO food grade glycerin. So I have a batch of that going now and I can tell it's gonna taste amazing already. And then you'll need some good, healthy grass-fed butter. Those will come later. So to start, I'm gonna use a three-quarter cup of the organic cacao powder. Cacao is cocoa powder that is still in its raw form. You'll need about a pinch of your salt just a little bit. That's just to kind of help bring out the flavor. Do not want more than that. And then for the sugar, you see I'm just kind of putting all this in the pan. Oop, oop. Kind of blooped out on me there. That's good enough. Half cup of the cane sugar. Put that back over there where it belongs. And then I might need to get my spoon out. This is kind of like brown sugar in the way it likes to clump. And then a half cup of the coconut sugar. I really wish I could do this all coconut sugar, but he just doesn't like it as much. I thought it was okay, but I but I could when I tasted it, but I could see what why he didn't like it as much. But the half and half ratio seems to go seems to do pretty good and and he hasn't he hasn't noticed a difference. He hasn't complained about it. All right, and then the last thing I'm gonna put in it right now 
is the almond milk. You want to shake this up because like anything else it's going to have the fat in it. The fat will float to the top so you want to shake it every time before you open it. And you'll need a cup of this. Now I, I better check my recipe. Make sure that's correct. A cup. Yeah, one cup whole milk. One cup sugar. Okay. So next time I make this I'm going to try it with the honey because I've really been wanting to do that and see how he likes that. Um, so anyway, you want to mix this really good with your whisk. And I don't know if you notice this, that looks familiar, that lid. It came off of a, a jar of organic peanut butter. And it fits really good on your regular size mason jars. Let me put this in the fridge now because I don't want to sit out. Mix it really, really good. And then I'm going to turn on my burner over here and set it on kind of a medium heat. I'm going to set that over there. Now, since it's still summer, we're still getting solar power. I got, I'm cooking this on my, my uh, hot plate run off our solar power sitting on our range, which it does, does still get used from time to time. It's just not very often. Most everything gets done on these hot plates or on the, in the solar run, the toaster oven runoff solar or on my wood stove in the colder months. I do a lot of my baking and my cooking on, and dehydrating on the wood stove. So anyway, you don't want this to get too hot. You're just going to cook it a little bit slowly. Um, in fact, I'm going to turn it up just a little bit. Cause we don't, you don't want it to get too hot, but you do want it to come to somewhat of a boil. And then it's going to take, once it gets to that point, it's going to take five minutes at least for it to get good and thick. And you'll know, you just kind of keep stirring it. So I'm going to let that do that and I'll come back when it's, when it's at a thicker consistency. It's been five minutes and this isn't as thick as I'd like it to be. It's still pretty runny. Now, once it, once your sauce chills, it's going to, it's going to get thicker, obviously, but I can tell because I've been doing this enough that it's, it's just, it's just a little bit too runny and you, and you can see, I still have, I should get my silicone spatula in here and scrape the stuff off the sides and that that will help but I'm going to go ahead and cook it for another five minutes and I'm go I'm going to guess that the almond milk is also going to have a little bit of a an effect on the cooking time so let me do that and we'll I'll come back in another five minutes I ended up giving this a total of 15 minutes cooking time and it's finally I can tell by the way the bubbles look you know, and the way it feels when I run the whisk through there, it's finally at a good uh, thickness. So I'm going to set it over here on my little cast iron trivet. And this is where I'm going to add the vanilla and the butter. Let's see if I can get a different angle here. Well, folks, I managed to do it again. I deleted the last two clips of this how-to video. When I went to put it together, I realized they were gone, so I'm gonna <laughs> have to reshoot this last part. Obviously, I can't reshoot me pouring it into the jar and, and adding the butter and vanilla like, you know, I meant to, but you got the idea. So I, I use about a tablespoon of butter, and it's my recipe that I wrote down. I put a teaspoon of vanilla, but I typically use at least a tablespoon. Um, anyway... So you can see where it fills up the pint size jar. And this is a really good amount to start with. This, this is the perfect amount for us. You don't want to make too much more than that if you're not gonna go through it real fast because it, it does, it, it's not gonna last as long as store-bought chocolate syrup, chocolate sauce because it's not full of preservatives. This is all natural. So start with a small amount and see how your family likes it. And I did taste the final product with the almond milk and I have to say, I think this tastes way better with the almond milk than with the organic cow's milk. Now, since this is for Mr. Rain, it's gonna depend on how much he likes the taste of this. 
on, and, and whether or not I'll keep making it with the almond milk. But I like to keep experimenting, experimenting with the healthiest way to do things. So hopefully he'll like this. But even if not, the organic cow's milk that we get is good. It's good milk, and I trust it. But so there you have it. Uh, homemade, mostly healthy, mostly organic a chocolate sauce. So it's about as healthy as you can get. So it can go a little bit healthier with the honey instead of the cane sugar or if you use all coconut sugar it's going to depend on your taste. And um, if you can get a good organic vodka to make your vanilla with or making it with the non-GMO food grade glycerin that I'm starting to do now. So hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something new and that this is something that your family will enjoy. Take care and God bless and thanks for watching.